So Virgo, let's take a look at your money, your finances, career, and money. Just know that this is a timeless reading. So whenever you happen to stumble upon this and watch it, will be the right time for you to see it. Overall energy, we have the Ace of Wands. Wow. Okay, so with the overall energy being the Ace of Wands, I'm getting the sense that you guys are starting some sort of new creative project, or you might be an artist uh, in any capacity, be it a painter, a writer, a rapper, a singer, um, a dancer, even if like you're a plumber that's your art so whatever you do i see you starting something new um i see you possibly checking out spaces or looking um i'm i'm, I'm looking i'm feeling like you're looking at something that can potentially help your business so some of you might be getting business cards printed I, i'm getting the sense that some of you need to work on your marketing you need to work on something that can help people find you i feel like right now people might have a little bit of a hard time finding you um with the page of wands i'm getting the sense that uh, you have a lot of raw potential, a lot of raw talent. I feel as though um, whatever you do, if especially like if you're an artist, might be a little bit um, provocative or controversial. Like for instance, like I'm a tarot reader, and obviously not everybody kind of believes in tarot. So you know, it's 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 odd when. I would go you know to like go ch cast a check or like even another great example is like I live in Portland Oregon and where I live cannabis weed is legal so um I was a bud but I'm a butt tender and I was a butt tender for a little while and like certain places wouldn't cash my check because it isn't federally you know approved or whatever or um but you get my point so I feel like whatever art you do it, there might be like some sort of stigma attached to it um, some of you might be liter uh, literally, you might be a dancer, an exotic dancer. Um, but I feel as though whatever you do, it makes you happy. And whatever you do, it makes you very attractive. Like you're the, you're still the woman to marry. Or if you're a man, I feel as though you're 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 a catch. You're the ideal match. You're the ideal partner. You're very hardworking. Some of you literally might be into spiritual work. Um, or I feel as though some of you might receive a spiritual awakening from a mentor or some of you might be uh, learning about the occult or reading on the occult as well um some of you i feel as though with the tower card something's going to happen in reference to your career that's going to bring about a lot of change and i feel as though whatever's going to happen is going to cause you to manifest like crazy i feel as though you're going to get some sort of spiritual insight that's going to really elevate your career like you're gonna get you're gonna gain spiritual advice some of you are going to literally gain spiritual advice or consult a tarot reader like myself and I feel like whatever this is is going to really help you um, be able to manifest for your business with the magician card but let's take a look here at your main cards we have the Queen of Swords the page of swords And the four of wands so I feel as though in reference to your finances you might be trying to really get get things together I feel as though some of you may have received some uh, like bills past due bills or like uh, a message in reference to your finances that you didn't necessarily like um some of you it might be having to deal with fine uh, your documents so let's get some clarifiers Some of you, I see you um, wanting to move, but I feel as though 
like what something in reference to your lease papers or some sort of documents or paperwork something is missing or there might be a delay in some sort of paperwork some of you are uh, moving in with someone or you're combining finances or you might have a, a business partner or you might be in a partnership with someone and I feel as though this person has a lot of prosperity and success and I feel like through uh, this person um, you'll gain like a lot of uh, finances or you can be able to save your money because this person is a very generous and uh, is someone who want is wanting to support you um, this is someone who's a supportive a business leader possibly and I feel as though you guys have the Midas touch Virgo you guys are reliable savvy some of you might even be materialistic but in a good sense like you're very stylish you're very sensible you don't splurge on stupid stuff even if you buy designer pieces you buy timeless pieces that you can wear forever and ever and pass down to your gener uh, you know your children and your children's children some of you might be into finances or might uh, be a, a financial advisor or some of you I feel as though you're going to reach a point to where you're so uh, financially stable that you're gonna have to hire a wealth manager or like an accountant or someone that will help you uh, kind of run your finances because this is the first time you're handling um, money or finances of this magnitude I feel as though some of you are, are uh, going into a different tax bracket like a new tax bracket some of you have an influx in income especially like if you're an entrepreneur or you're a business owner and this is because you guys have really been able to uh, you stood your ground you guys are very very uh, articulate some of you you might do something where you're like a speaker where you might talk you might write you're a poet or you're really good with your words or your wit is what has been able to uh, help you establish some sort of business for yourself. Ooh. Yep. We have, uh, again, we have the Queen of Swords, Queen of Spades. So you, you've been very real, uh, realistic. You're no nonsense. You're very upfront. You're very open, especially when it comes to business. I feel as though when you see something you want, you go after it because you know how it feels to be broke. You've had a lot of regret and loss in your life. Maybe some of you lost money. You lost your finances. You lost a job. There was a, a point where maybe people were jealous and envy, envious of you at a job. I had a situation where, like that where like my old supervisor... She hated me for no reason, like low key. And it, listen, I'm the last person that'll pull a race cart, but this was in Beaverton, Oregon. And like, this is like, like, yeah, they're not used to my kind out there. I'll just put it that way. And like, she was just weird. So eventually I got fired and I ended up getting unemployment and I was able to live, live off of my unemployment for like a year. Um, and literally like get my tarot business off the ground. Had that not happened, you know what I mean? So I feel as though whatever happened, whatever misfortune happened, it was a blessing in disguise. I feel as though whatever loss you had, I feel as though you guys will receive some sort of payout or gain. Um, gifts, generosity, loss and gain, seeking approval, domination, submission. Um, so yeah, I feel as though with the Six of Diamond, you guys are receiving a, a major gain. But yeah, they even the unemployment office, they didn't argue with me. They gave me my money like they they just ran me my money because when they looked into it, they're like, yeah, she, they didn't they didn't really give you a reason as to why they would lay you off or fire you. So yeah. Needless to say, I was chilling. I was kicking it. And it was the start of summer. This was like a couple of years ago. I was kicking it. So Virgo, ooh, Knight of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. You guys are coming definitely into stability after a time of hard work. You putting uh, your energy into something and it's finally bringing like a harvest to you. And if this is something that hasn't um, like kind of came into your fruition or reality yet, you need to get busy, get working. But let's clarify... What else you can expect in your finances here six of swords i see some of you moving some of you are, are going to receive uh, a sense of stability that's going to allow you to be able to travel some of you you're going to be traveling nearby water i'm even getting a cruise some of you uh, might even uh be relocating like over water like you might move <clears throat> you know somewhere at a distance some of you, it'll just be short-term vacation. 
yeah, some of you, there's a really a, a need for you to be very realistic. Make sure that you are um, very upfront in your business dealings and just continue, uh, you know, being hard work, uh, doing the hard work continue to be consistent and persistent um, and I feel as though that will eventually balance out and you guys will um, receive good financial payouts with this jack of diamond remember this is the slowest moving night in the deck he's very practical methodical he doesn't just set out he makes sure that he has a plan and a blueprint and he goes after what he wants so just make sure that you guys are realistic um, and go after what you want. I feel like as though you guys are receiving a gift from the universe with the ace of cups something that will fulfill you emotionally um, With the page of swords here again I feel as though after a time of delays and maybe if you've received the short end of a stick in a situation I see you finally getting justice for instance, like, again, I was a butt tender and I worked at the dispensary and they didn't pay me for two whole months. So I feel as though, like, I'm still salty about that situation. And I couldn't really take legal action because when I quit, I ended up quitting. And literally, the next when I quit, the next morning, I received my checks in the mail. So it was like, I couldn't really do much. So needless to say, I feel like I'm going to get my justice for that. So Virgo, if you're watching this, I feel as though if um, you ever had delays or if anybody ever played you the same way that dispensary played me i feel as though you're going to get your justice some of you this might even be a legal uh, legal case where uh the situation will end up going in your favor and you might end up even receiving a payout but let's clarify some more virgo sun moon and rising yeah, some of you are definitely self-assured. You, uh, you're someone who analyzes situations or spirit is urging you to do so. Don't make any hasty decisions and make sure that you speak your truth. Um, I feel as though there's definitely going to be some sort of uh, hostility or competition, minor setbacks, harsh roads, or battle. Again, I see some of you going to court over this uh, situation where someone played you and you will definitely, it'll go in your favor. You will definitely get justice. Yep. After a time of being, some of you may have lost your job. Some of you may have been put out. Uh, you know, you were homeless or maybe you were just financially struggling, living from paycheck to paycheck. You have to do a lot of soul searching. You felt unworthy. Like, dang, why is this happening to me? With the Nine of Swords, I feel like you guys were overwhelmed, always worrying, constantly um, overburdened by thoughts. If only sleepless nights. 999, that's coming to an ending. I feel as though some of you might be ending, uh, end up dealing with a lawyer, a female lawyer, who is badass, who will win your case with the, uh, for a group of you. It might be a Libra, Gemini individual. If you're dealing with the lawyer, ask your lawyer, hey, what's your star sign? <laughs> and if they say I'm a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, then you already know, Virgo. And come let me know in the comments. I love you guys. August 31st is my birthday. Shout out to all my birthday twins out there. Nine of diamond, seven, seven, seven. That's my money number. Luck in business, independence, self-reliance, money surprise, financial material security. I told you guys, especially if you're an entrepreneur, business owner, you guys, it's coming. We also, uh, some of you are also uh, attracting love with that because you're, you're going to be so stable. Man, do you see this? You guys are going to come into a stability to where you're going to have a sense of independence and self-reliance. Like, I'm telling you. And somebody's going to come in, if not already, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, possibly. Or someone who's very open-hearted, someone who gives good advice. Um, but overall, I'm, ha I'm getting a sense that some of you might need to seek legal advice if you've ever been played in a situation. Because I feel like there's money waiting for you. Like, it's a money surprise. And again, some of you, um, if... I f there's a money surprise that's all i'm gonna say i don't know we all have different stories but just let me know keep me up updated and i'll keep you guys updated as well make sure you guys click the bell and subscribe that way i can keep you updated um as to how this whole legal situation plays out but yeah i love you guys and infinite blessings bye virgo <laughs>